And August, when you bring you slept update, Aries' girlfriend responds to claims made by Flame's ex-girlfriend Ashley that she wanted to date Flame instead of Aries and she at some point dated a 50-year-old man. And now for more on this story, just stay tuned to this video. No guys, welcome back to Mzanzi A-Listers. Do you want to know you can learn for updates on your favorite celebrities? And if you're new here, please subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you can notified every time we upload a new video. And no guys, all I can say is things are hectic. A couple of days ago, Flame's ex-girlfriend Ashley made claims that Aries' girlfriend wanted Flame and not Aries and that at some point she used to live in a house that was paid by a 50-year-old man while she was 19. Like way before She then. started dating Reese 2017 once I broke up with Reese, uh, with Flame. She's always been in my shadow. That's a fact. She just chose to sleep with 50-year-old men and I didn't. <laughs> And now Aries' girlfriend went to her Instagram live to address these claims. And now basically I'm not going to explain them for you but I'm rather going to play a video which is long so that you guys can watch the video for yourself. And after that you can comment down below on what you think about it. I've no ignored it for the longest time and I just personally feel like I can't let it happen anymore because if I don't say something now, what else is she going to say about me or what else... Or how much longer is she going to talk about me, you know? And Ashley Ogle, let me tell you the story how we met, okay? Ashley Ogle and I, we met in 2013. I was 16 years old and she was seeing one of my cousins at the moment. And not dating, seeing, like, you know, he lived in Durban, she stayed in Joburg, so she drove all the way down there. And a coincidence that I was by my cousin's house, and at that day, she was like, yo, let's all go to the movies and let's go bowling. So we went bowling and then we went for sushi, and then that was one time that I met Ashley over back in 2013, okay? And then, one second, let me sit my tea. And then, Take in mind, yeah, I said 2013 I met her one time, okay? And then of course like my family would say that she came, she followed them there, she went to yeah, whatever the case may be. So in 2017, when I moved to Johannesburg, and there's a thing called social media where you where you will be um, contacting with people, you would talk to people, whatever the case may be. So me and Ashley started talking, you know, you'd be like, okay. Let's hang, let's chill, let's do girl, girly shit, you know? And it got into a point where we were only like actually, we're actually friends for like two, two, not even, okay, let's say three, four months max, right? We were friends, actual friends in 2017. And why I stopped being friends with Ashley is because she did some shady shit, right? Which I'm gonna mention for sure. And I just, okay, here we go. I wanted to say something, okay. But anyway, so 2017, we started hanging out. We would go for lunch, we would chill, we would relax with each other, we would go to, we even, she even took me to a gym like once or twice, you know? Like, let's, become friends, you know, besides you, me meeting you once in uh, 2013 to now 2017 and I was 20 at the time. Um, so I was like, okay, cool, we're friends, we're doing, we're just doing the things that friends do. And then what also annoyed me when, when I watched that interview, how she mentioned that, um, she did not agree on the lifestyle I was living or the person that I was seeing or that's all lies <laughs> because why I say that is because when I introduced her to the person she was already telling this guy yo let's go to Sun City for the weekend let's go and enjoy ourselves so when I heard that it became it came to me as like whoa but that wasn't your reaction back in 2017 when, when I introduced you to this person where you're so cool, don't agree on me seeing or whatever. But anyway, that was like strike one for me because I just introduced you to this person. And then 
but at the same time I'm thinking okay we're friends I'm letting you into my life I'm gonna introduce you to the people I hang around with since we hanging around and we know we just enjoy each other's company so okay cool but then later on as being friends like a month into that where um, I felt like it became too too personal where she would message the same guy and I'm not gonna mention people's names right now but um, at the same time um, she went to this guy and says how dare you give Raquel money when I need money to fix my own tires I need money to do this like Raquel's only 19 I was not 19 I was 20 and um, oh yeah it makes a difference <laughs> and how dare you give this money she was threatening to threatening him to my mom also at the same time and I don't think she knew that I knew that that guy sent me a screen grab of her actually asking this guy for these things and I was just so shocked so I was at the same at that point I was just like um you know what I'm not gonna be friends with Ashley anymore I'm not gonna talk to her i'm not gonna i just want to leave her to be that that's what she has to say and that's what she she's gonna threaten me to my own mom okay cool then you know it's fine and then along the line i just stopped talking to her and then i moved back to durban because i had my grandfather was very sick and at the moment he actually had passed away and i moved to durban and i just wanted to be with my family because we were going through a tough time where we have lost someone so I moved back to Durban and decided I'm not going to talk to that guy. I'm not going to talk to Ashley no more. And while Ashley, while Ashley and I were friends, as I mentioned that when you're friends, you tell your friends like, this is my plans. I'm going to be doing this girl. Like, you know, because you want to let your friends like know what you're doing and just stuff like that. So yeah, one second, let me see. So anyway, um, we get to a point of our friendship where I tell her that okay I want to open up my own clothing line this is what I want to do and I felt like she maybe thought that I wanted to do it with her but I really didn't like I was just telling her that this is what I want to do so fast forward as I said we no longer became friends I moved to Durban and then I, at the time, I was like, you know what? I went with my mom. We were sitting and we're like, okay, let's register this company. Let's do this for Raquel, you know? Cool. And I also, you know, at the same time when I moved to Durban, I told my mom about the whole situation of like, this is this girl Ashley, and um, we we had this fallout, like you know, in this is my situation where I don't even want to have anything to do with her. And she's like, it's okay, Rachel, if you don't want to have anything to do with her. You don't need to feel obligated to this person. So I'm like, okay, cool. And I even told my mom like this is what she was saying and she was threatening me and all these things. But anyway, so um she sent me a message because I had opened up an Instagram account about this whole um clothing line that I wanted to open. And when she saw that I opened the Instagram, she sent me a message saying that, how dare you go behind my back? How dare you open up this um, company? How dare you? It's like you throw, you say, she says that it's like, I can't, I can't remember the whole long message. And I was like, she was like, um, you putting a knife in my back and spitting in my face. But I was like, you know what? Let me cut you off short, babes. Because part of this with me, you know, and there's a difference between me telling you what I'm trying to do. Big difference. So, um, she was very shocked at that I said that, and then next minute I told her, you know what? The reason why I actually don't want to be friends with you because I didn't tell you that you were going to the same guy that you so called don't approve of and you didn't approve of the life that I was living or whatever. Like, you go asking for money, you go asking for all these things. Like, who does that, you know? So, me personally, I know my, my, my morals and my values. I'm not gonna fight dramas, not for me. <laughs> no, I've, that's why I'm only choosing now to say something because. Honestly, what would I be fighting for? Like, 
I just want y'all to really know the story. Like, on a real note, for a long time, Ashley Gray on social media talking about me. I'm like, what is wrong with her? Like, I would try to, I would try to step back and think to myself because my mom always told me, you never know what the next ma next person might going through, or why they're actually doing this to you, or why they're acting this way towards you, whatever the case may be. But so for the longest time, I'm like, why is Ashley so so? so bitter towards me you know like why is she saying all these things i've never went to social media I've spoken bad about her and then one time a situation where uh, my man called me and he was like yo baby i'm trying to sort out some things and this is what's going on so i'm like whoa ashley ogle and that's the first time i found out that flame and ashley were dating and that was in 2018 where i found out that they were dating and so i was like whoa ashley and then i was like Yo, this is the story and this is why I know Ashley and this is how I know Ashley because you asked me like, do you know her? So I was like, yeah, I know her and this is why I know her and this is why I don't know her anymore, you know? And he was like, okay, cool. And then I told my man, I'm like, yo, this is the story. This is why I don't like Ashley and this is why I don't talk to her anymore. This is, this is why I just don't mess with her. And then he was like, I gotta tell you something. For the longest time, I knew this, but it's not my place to say it. But right now, I'm gonna say it. I thought that actually envied me because she actually said to Reese while Flame was there in the club that, oh, okay, I don't even want Flame. I want you. So I thought, okay, wait, maybe she envies me because I'm with the man that she actually wanted. And then I'm like, okay, maybe that's not it because if you, if you, still with this guy okay then maybe you don't want this man anymore and you just want to stay with your with your guy cool and then i just tried to acknowledge like what is actually she going through like what does she envy about because i told my man i'm like straight yo me i don't fuck with this girl this girl is not right she's just she's i feel like she has a like an evil spirit or like just an evil like aura around the way you can't even be friends with her for so long like i was friends with her for, for three months four months max and she showed me her true colors so i was like okay you know so i moved away from her without even trying to cause drama but she brought drama um towards me by sending me that message back in 2017 so so yeah so back to where um i feel like she just has had issues with me i don't feel like she will stop talking about me or she would stop like just general like just speaking on my name or whatever the case may be i do obviously pray for her because i always try to just think of what the next person's going through for actually for them to actually bring harm to the next person that's not right and also females like this whole female oh female um support we support each other nah that's all bullshit you just gotta trust the people you trust and that's end of story there's no girl power there's no such because at the end of the day when ashley showed me who she was for who she is um i just made me stop being her friend like i could have um spoken about this a very long time ago but i'm not gonna give her that that's what she she wants me to say this right but at the end of the day, I feel like this needs to be the end. Like, she just needs to stop. Like, she just needs to, to stop. Because what more do you want to say about me? What more do you want to you try and bring me down? Do you want to... Like, I question myself a lot about this. Like, like why? Like, what, what do you have against me? Why? Because I told my man that I personally don't fuck with you and this is the reasons why I don't fuck with you. Then what? That is crazy. That's some... That's just... I, I think to myself a lot about this. I really just do. So, yeah. Um, I don't even know if I didn't mean to miss out anything. Mm. Yeah, and then we just stopped. Like, literally, we weren't even friends there for so long. And for me, personally, when I heard that I lived in her... Oh, yeah, she said that I lived in her spotlight for the longest. I don't even know why I'm mentioning this because what nonsense is that like i live in a spotlight that was just lame it was very lame for her to say and um just inappropriate where i lived in a spotlight nah we were friends for a couple of months i met you once and like back in 2013 and 
meet up with you 2017 again and then I lived in your spotlight. <laughs> no, that don't that doesn't happen that way. And also we're not family. Like we in a way me a family. Like maybe she met my aunt when she was going to see my cousin in Durban. But um we ain't family at all. Like no. People who threat other people's lives, family don't threat other people's lives. Family just don't do that. So don't don't claim family. Don't say we like family. Don't nah. And just the end of the story. As I mentioned earlier, it took a lot for me to actually come out and talk about this and just speak on it. I did think of it for a very long time because at the same time, it's like if I don't let her have what I have to say then when is it gonna stop when is she gonna stop looking for this whatever she's looking for like i don't know what she's looking for like i don't even know why she involves me in her stories like i've never went in public i mean i've never went in public so spoken about you i've never no and also another thing is like actually she once sent me a message right where on instagram she was like did you put Reese's initials on your arm and I was like do I need to ask for your permission and then she sends me because I used to work at a club Onyx and then she used to say then she says um, I know that you work at Onyx I'll see you there so what is that a threat you don't send people threats you call them up you message them you be like yo let's talk this is what I gotta say don't go on social media months later and talk your shit about me or try to bring me down or uh, say um, tweet shit and then delete it that's not how we move out here like personally you shouldn't be moving out here if you if you say you're a certain type of person or this is what you stand for nah it's not right that's really not right i stand for sticking to my own business minding my own shit doing what i have to do for myself and i don't worry about nobody so that's what i expect from the next person so yeah that's what i got